All right, you guys, we'll get ready to pack up. Start heading to the house. We're gonna stop at the raceway. Uh, stop and see my people, Taddy and Shayla, and then head north. And try not to hit no interstates. We doing it, y'all. Let's take North Avenue and South Woodland Boulevard Let's ride. My name's uh, Pepper. I'm on uh, Bike Week 2024 for Slappy Adventures. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Rono. I'm on a adventure with Slappy. Daytona Beach 2024. What? Bike Week. Enjoy it. Okay! Stop me! You're gonna have to kill! All right, you guys, let me tell you what we're going to do today. We got up, got ready. We're going to ease on down to the International Raceway, see what they have to offer, spend a couple, two or three hours there, probably grab some lunch at one of the vendors, and um, then we're going to ease over there towards my buddy Teddy and Shayla's house and uh, see the kids and spend a few time, a little time with them. But this trip right here, it was all about the ride. It was all about the ride on back roads, not getting on the interstate. So this is us. Go back to my videos in the playlist and you'll see uh, what we actually did in the International Raceway. But the video over here on the right is just doing a little spin. We get ready to head towards Shaylin Teddy's house. Come on a ride with us for a little while. You guys love the view with the GoPro 360 Max. And, uh, I appreciate you guys dropping the sub and thanks for watching. Let's check it out. When I tell you they got more vendors than you can shake a stick at, and they had them for everybody. They had every motorcycle brand, Honda, Indian, Suzuki. We went to Main Street Friday night. We went now it's Saturday morning. Come down here to the uh, the raceway, check out a few vendors, and then they had all the gear, all the accessories. Man, they got it all right here. Now this is the slow weekend. Yeah, like I said, it'd be nice to stay a little bit long. Here's a couple of pictures of us over uh, Shelly and Taylor's house. But go back in the playlist again and see us kind of interacting, hanging out. Woodrow and Mike come by and uh, spend, a, spend an hour or so with them. But this is us hitting the back roads all the way out from Teddy's house, going up the highway. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. Y'all ride with us. We outside. We took that highway 100 all the way up and uh this will get us towards lake city and we're gonna cross over ran into a, a pack of motorcycles man because motorcycles is everywhere it's that time of year bike week everybody's out moving around we had an almost perfect weekend yeah we, we, we out here getting it all back roads all the way home stay with me now Stay with me. Yeah, when you get on these back roads, you get to see, 
you know, old churches. Look at the trees, mossy trees. I'm not sure what those trees are, but you just ain't just blasting down the interstate, just tractor trailers and all kinds of woo -hoo 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 -hoo. A lot of people wouldn't like this trip. I kind of enjoyed it. I've done it all kinds of ways. I've been to Daytona in Florida and hitting that interstate. That's Highway 100 right here. We get ready to get on. But I get it. I get it. You know, if you got somewhere you got to be, that's what the interstate's for. Sometimes you got to get there. But once you get down there, get off the road and kind of see the country on secondary four lane roads, get off at interstate. At least that's just what I want to do. You guys do it how you want, but this was an awesome trip. Great suggestion from my uh, supervisor that's in front of me, Pepper. He said, man, how about we go down there and ride all back roads? I had never even thought about that. I said, you know what? Let's do it. Come on, ride with me. get much better than that but look at the clouds yeah check out those clouds stay tuned to that you can bet your hind end that uh we are ready for whatever out here let's run through this town give you guys a view of this I'm just looking up and I'm like, ah. yeah, it's looking a little, little sketch, you guys. Yeah, there you go. Rains in the forecast. Not much, though. Well, we going to push on, keep it going. Come on. How many of you guys like to eat? while you're riding your motorcycle. That is a pickle, a deal pickle. I got at one of them convenience stores. It wasn't the best. I, it wasn't the best. <laughs> I don't even know if a pickle can go bad. I guess if it start off a bad pickle, just a bad pickle. But yeah, that's me nibbling on a little pickle while I'm riding down the road. see the rain coming <laughs> you can see the rain coming but that's all right we can handle it
talking about earlier about it was rain in front of us. Look like it's gonna rain. Yeah, look at that windshield. Look at that mad stag. 13 inch tinted windshield. First time really traveling with that. I'm really, really impressed with that windshield. Love it, love it. But here comes the rain, you guys. And uh, I fell back to ask Rono what he wanted to do. I still got my little Scud Dugley helmet on. You see that old little Scud Dugley uh, Crazy Al's helmet. The rain was not really hitting me. I probably could have rolled on out with it, but we wanted to make sure that everybody had a chance to put on the rain gear if they wanted to. And I slowed down. Rono said that he was down to, uh, he was down to put his rain suit on. So let's put that rain suit on. That way uh, everybody's good and comfortable. Here we go. All right, here we go again. Passing on a two-lane road with a Honda Gold Wing 101. <laughs> Look at Romo. Oh, Romo passing like a boss. That GL1800 get it done. The rain didn't really, it kind of passed by, so we didn't stop. But uh, stay tuned for that. We bound to get wet somewhere. <laughs> As part of traveling, we outside. So this is where we're crossing over I-75 down around Lake City. Uh, we had already crossed over I-10 and now we on I-75. But well, we gonna keep the thing going. We are gonna keep it on the back road. Run up under that. Keep it moving, y'all. We we're not gonna get on the interstate. This is a back road trip. Just seeing things. Yo, forgot about Barney Fife. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Uh, ride with me. Get ready to rain, you guys, so let's go ahead and suit up. Guess I get a chance to try out this, uh, six gear cycle suit. The rain part of it now. Yeah, you see it. We finally ran into the rain. I got my six gear cycle uh, riding the pearl on, which is, uh, this is the first time I get a chance to stress test this out in the rain. And I have to say it worked. It did work. Hey, good deal. Let's see if it lasts. Well, as you can see, that didn't last that long. Probably lasted a good 10, 15, 20 minutes, but just enough to get you good and soaking wet. If it was a good, real hot summer day, it really wouldn't bother nobody because you'd dry off pretty quick. But with that riding gear, the rain just kind of ran off, didn't stick, it doesn't hold water. So that is something that I'm going to implement into my riding, uh, especially my traveling. It's wearing that suit, it's got plenty of protection, but it's got a rain, zip in rain fly, where I can still, you know, be protected from the weather.
What's that? Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Pretty through there, ain't it, bud? Huh? Pretty oh, I love this. Man, you can ride the interstate all day long. Miss, miss everything. Miss all these trees and look, yeah, town. Look at this. Yeah. yeah they you can see have that. that. Lee town where it looks like all those trees have been blown over. Yeah. It's like bad trees. Oh, it is. Yeah. You see, I know they, it's got to be controlled, but where they had the trees burnt from the bottom, all of the bound on the bottom burnt and then up the tree a little bit. Yeah. That's got to be controlled. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it was. You said the bottom of the tree? Yeah. They had it burnt. The ground, you know, I guess all the extra leaves. Yeah. And then they had it burnt up about three feet up the tree. Yeah. So I guess they get all of the moss hanging and. Have we got any more? But you see all of that, you know? Any more what? Rain. Nothing, I, I think it's pretty good shape. Yeah. Here and now. You switch again? <coughs> this is actually yeah, good. I got more damn wet than I'm gonna put the gear on. <laughs> <laughs> I got more wet putting the gear out. I got all that was shit. Well, that five minutes though, buddy, I got my pants were soaked. soaking wet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I got the I got, look at my hands black. <laughs> I got a zip the liner in, so it takes a minute to do that. I didn't just <laughs> if I just run on that. Yeah. Is it pretty dry? Oh now? yeah, they Man. dry there. Yeah. 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 Look at them trees. Those some funky looking trees, ain't they? And that's the thing, I didn't really wear my motorcycle boots. And these things get soaked. Yeah. So I was like, ah. When you say, you want to put the rain suit on? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Let's suit up. These boots are supposed to be water, whatever, resistant, whatever. And my feet fine. My feet didn't Yours too? Either. What are those, Sadichi? Uh, I have no idea what they are. Pulled over here just to change some daggum gear. And uh, keep it moving, but check out these old mossy trees. This is what you see on back roads. This is what you see on back roads. When you got time and you just got, you're not really pressed for, you know, to be pushed to go down that interstate. Get on them back roads. Look at the trees, the landscape, the scenery. Yeah, I'm in my happy place right now. Whew, you know what? I ain't even gonna talk right now. I'm a lost word. I'm gonna let y'all put some music in your ear. Y'all just ride with me. Welcome to Tallahassee. We on Highway 27 northbound, if I hadn't mentioned it earlier before. And this is a little town called Tallahassee, Florida. Yeah, we're going to squeeze through here. And this is on a... Uh, yeah, this is still Saturday. Yeah, so we're going to slide through here and, and uh, stop and get us some, uh, something to eat, some lunch, some dinner, whatever you want to call it. At uh, everybody's favorite place, Hooters. Let's go get us some Hooters.
also watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, got a little bit of a treat. We pulled up here and you see all those trailers and pickup trucks and stuff like that. They had an old car club that was in the, in the town of Bainbridge, Bainbridge, Georgia. And uh, yeah, I'll show you a few cars tomorrow when we get up, start moving around. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>